Welcome to the Sounds Like Drums refill. First, open Reason. Close the default song that comes up. Go to File and Open. When Reason's song browser pops up, locate the refill you downloaded. In this example, the refill is on the desktop. To make this refill available in your Locations folder, located on the left of the browser, simply drag the refill icon from the browser to the Locations window. Now, your refill will be easy to find when loading a song or a device. The inside of the refill contains four different folders. They are Combinator Kits, which have drums preloaded and affected, and an XT Kits that are the non-routed sampler patches, audio files, which contain all the samples, and finally startup kits, which are full reason files with the drums preloaded for either rewire or standalone setups. First, let's load a kit using the combinator. Go ahead and load a blank reason file. First, you need to create a mixer from the Create menu. Next, create a combinator the same way by selecting it from the Create menu. To load a kit, point your cursor to the folder icon on the front panel of the combinator and click. Now that your refill is easy to get to from the Search Locations window, select the SLD refill. Select the Combinator Kits folder and double-click any kit you want. Play the C1 MIDI key, and you should hear a kick drum. Take some time with the combinator, and play around with the knobs and buttons on the front panel. These kits are great for fast beat sequencing. Within this device lays the Anna NXT sampler at the heart of it. This sampler has 16 outputs that were individually connected into a mixer channel. In order to do this, here's what you do. Create an NNXT from the Create menu, and select the folder icon on the front panel. Select the refill and choose the NNXT Kits folder. Select any NNXT patch. Hit Tab to flip the rack around. The NNXT has already been connected in stereo, which is a default connection. Because each channel, such as 1 and 2, or 3 and 4 are used as mono microphone signals, we don't need to connect them as stereo pairs. Here's the configuration for each channel. Take out the right channel and move on to channel 3. Notice how it also connects in stereo. We don't need this other channel, so take out that right channel as well. Take note that some of these channels that you are taking out might be used in other SLD refills, so please consult the included documentation for what outputs you can use in your refill. Notice how outputs 5 and 6 are being used in this instance in two separate mixer channels. That is because in this particular kit, output 5 is the rack tom microphone and output 6 is the floor tom, which you may want to treat independently. Also, outputs 9 and 10 are going to separate channels because that is the overhead left and right microphone of the drum kit. Once again, what room microphone and outputs that are available will differ in each refill. Flip the rack over again with the tab key and notice how the mixer channels now read the outputs from the NNXT. To get the stereo image of the kit, Pan the overhead left and right channels, hard left and right. In this case, it is mixer channels 6 and 7. Now we have all of the microphones playing simultaneously.